Hi, welcome to Tutorials Point. In this tutorial, we will talk about the cultivation process of Gerbera flowers. The botanical name of Gerbera is Gerbera jamesoni and it belongs to the family Compositae. Gerbera is an exotic ornamental flower plant. You can find these flowers used for decoration for parties and functions. You can also make bouquets of these flowers. These flowers are considered long lasting and also remain fresh for long. Gerbera flowers come in different colors orange, green, white, purple, and pink. Gerbera can be cultivated in greenhouse or polyhouse and it gives better yield when compared to open field cultivation. Let us now see the suitable climatic conditions required for the cultivation of Gerbera flower crop. Gerbera is sensitive to frost and hence it is cultivated in subtropical climatic conditions under polyhouse. The production of quality flowers requires an optimal day temperature of 20 degrees centigrade to 25 degrees centigrade and a night temperature between 12 degrees centigrade to 15 degrees centigrade. Let us now see the different stages in the cultivation process of Gerbera flower crop. The stages are soil bed preparation, transplantation, pest and disease management, flowering and harvesting. We will now see how to prepare the soil beds for the transplantation of Gerbera seedlings. Well drained, rich, light, neutral or slightly alkaline soils with pH range 5.5 to 7 are most suitable for the cultivation process of Gerbera flowers. Spread the well rotten farmyard manure on the surface of the soil and add paddy husk and sand in 2 is to 1 is to 1 proportion. The soil should be properly prepared to allow for excellent development of the root system. Irrigating the entire land in poly house before digging the beds is must and should. This water helps in percolation of nutrition into the soil. This loosens the soil and eases the digging of beds. Start at one end of the bed, hammer wooden stakes into the soil at selective intervals of 30 inch wide beds, followed by 12 inch wide paths. The most efficient layout follows a standard 30 inch wide bed with 12 inch wide pathways. This 30 feet by 12 feet high tunnel equals a maximum of 360 square feet of interior growing space. We need to leave two feet on either ends as entrance walkway area. This type of layout leaves six beds at 46 feet length for a total of 690 square feet of actual growing space. The arrangement of drip irrigation is required for water and fertilizer saving. This is useful for direct application of water to the root zone of plants. Let us now see the transplantation of seedlings onto the raised beds. Gerbera plants propagate through suckers and tissue culture seedlings. Well developed tissue culture plants having 4 to 6 leaves can be planted firmly without burying the crown. Spacing of 25 to 30 cm within the row and 20 cm between the rows on the surface of bed 
is suitable for transplantation. The average accommodation of plants per square meter is 7 to 10. The spacing improves air circulation in crops and facilitates drainage of water. Keep the roots of seedling in soil and allow the crown of the plant 1 to 2 cm above the surface of the soil level at the time of planting. This root system establishes a plant deep into the soil. The beds should be subsequently watered thoroughly to percolate the nutrition to seedlings after planting. The crop can be cultivated throughout the year so irrigating immediately after transplantation will help in strong establishment of the crop. Provide nutrition and water through drip irrigation for the crop up to 3 months. The crop will eventually complete the vegetative stage and attain the flowering stage. Let us now see the flowering stage of the crop. Gerbera flowers form between the 7th and the 26th leaf nodes. This depends on the varieties too. Flowering starts after 3 months of planting. Leaves are too small to see when bud initiation occurs in the shoot tip. The flower initiation actually occurs when 1 to 2 leaves have unfolded on the seedling. Sufficient space between the seedlings enables quicker and more uniform flower bud initiation. The most productive plants are those which form 2-5 to five lateral shoots during the first year and have a leaf flower ratio of 2 is to 4. The number of lateral shoots at the moment the first flower bud becomes visible is strongly correlated with the number of lateral shoots after one year. Drenching water soluble fertilizers and micronutrients on the plants will increase the crop growth and result in better yield. So, drenching the fertilizers and micronutrients along with soluble fungicides will increase the yield. Pest and diseases start attacking the crop once it reaches the flowering stage. Let us now understand Pest and Disease Management in the Cultivation Process of Cherbera Flower Crop The major pest attacks on Cherbera Flower Crop can be caused by aphids, white flies, thrips, red spider mites or nematodes. The major diseases that can attack the crop are bud rot and powdery mildew. Spraying of imidacloprid 1 ml per litre controls the attack by aphids. Spraying dimethoate 2 ml per litre kills the white flies in the field. Spraying fipronil 2 ml per litre controls the attacks by thrips. Abamectin 0.4 ml per litre can be used to kill red spider mite. Nematode attacks can be controlled by soil application of 
Bacillus subtilis at the time of planting. To control flower bud rot disease, spraying copper oxychloride 2 grams per liter is suggested. Powdery mildew disease can be controlled by spraying vetable sulfur 2 grams per liter. Let us now see the harvesting of Jarbera flowers. Harvesting is done when flowers completely open or when the outer 2 to 3 rows of disc florets are perpendicular to the stalk. The heel for the stalk has to be cut about 2 to 3 cm above the base and kept in fresh water. The yield varies from variety to variety. Under greenhouse cultivation, an average 225 to 250 flowers per square meter in one year can be obtained. Thank you for watching our tutorial on the cultivation process of Jerbera flower crop. Stay connected with tutorialspoint.com to watch our next tutorial on the cultivation process of a different crop. Tutorialspoint.com Simply easy learning.